My name is uh, Jose Raul Gonzalez. I am the CEO of Cementos Progreso and the current president of the Inter-American Federation of Cement. Well, we're here to learn about the advances in the GCCA route towards uh, decarbonization of our industry and also to share experiences with other members of GCCA in order to be more effective in this achievement that we want to have. Well, Latin America, the region that I represent, is very diverse. So the challenges comes in, the, in that diversity as well because we have different countries with different levels of development. Still, we have a, a technical challenge, which is basically all the technical processes that have to go into the decarbonization of all the processes of our industry. But also we have a political social challenge, meaning raising the awareness of the governments in how to make this transition in the best possible ways. We know, we understand that we have challenges and also we have trade-offs to do because of the development of the region is unlike the development of the rest of the world. And we are concerned that those uh, issues have to be taken into account in, both in the financing and in the implementation of the vision for uh, carbon neutrality. Having said that, I think we have beautiful opportunities in industry because at the level that we have, we can use quote-unquote low-tech solutions that could take us a long way in uh, viewing um, um, a cleaner industry. For example, we, can ha we have a huge opportunity in uh, the co-processing of all this uh, waste that the urbanization process that the region has gone through create every day almost 260 million tons per year, out of which only one third, uh, 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 well, 4% is, is uh, disposed of responsibly. Almost one third of that is burned simply to the environment, throwing a lot of very, very nasty gases into the environment. So I think that the cement kiln is the perfect instrument to co-process all that waste and to clean the environment and also to mitigate the CO2 emissions. That's on the one hand. On the other hand, we have also the opportunity of nature-based solutions because the source number one of uh, CO2 emissions is the deforestation. In my country, Guatemala, 55% of the energy comes from wood, burning wood. So if we make a program to substitute wood for other sources of energy and as well to reforest all the land that we have lost, that is another important uh, project that will contribute to the absorption of CO2 through uh, trees. So I believe that these challenges uh, are very, very hard, but we have a huge opportunity as well to overcome those. Well, the debate of CO2 is uh, being led by the industry, as a matter of fact, because we have uh, assumed this leadership position in order to raise the awareness of also our clients, our customers, and the governments in order to achieve this, uh, this goal. Governments are concerned with other issues. We understand there are other developmental issues that are very important for them, but we think that the industry has a responsibility to address our issues and to be at the, the proposition part uh, in order to have a good transition. Above all, a just transition so that we can achieve this goal. Well, I think that these projects that I told you about uh, the nature-based solutions based on the current circumstances of the continent uh, due to the use of uh, wood as a primary source of energy is the one that concerns us the most. Also, the huge opportunity that we have in co-processing. We have, uh, unfortunately, uh, huge uh, wastelands that emit methane, which is a gas much more uh, damaging to the environment than CO2. And we have this opportunity to, to bring the best of both worlds not to produce the methane and substitute fossil fuel for uh, co-processing of uh, the, the waste. So I think that this equation for the Latin American reality is the most exciting uh, project that we have. And we also are working on, on substitutes of clinker, for example, pozoland substitute that Latin America has a lot of volcanoes and we're blessed with that so we can substitute pozoland for clinker. We also are experimenting in, in uh, calcine uh, um, LC3, um, and uh, of course we are we're using uh, sources of energy, electric energy from uh, hydroelectric dams. Costa Rica is 100% green energy. Guatemala is about 80% also 
uh, green energy from the electric grid. So we are blessed with those things. So this is why we are looking into these two other opportunities, uh, co-processing and nature-based solutions as a very, very good uh, solution for mitigating the effects of CO2. Yes, I am very optimistic because I believe in the human ingenuity and the creativity and in the innovation that human beings represent. We know that we have the best scientists in the world finding solutions, the future solutions that will come to the region accordingly to our level of development. I am also optimistic about the leadership of the industry professionals that are taking us there. And, and with that optimism, I have to uh, also contrast that with the reality that these solutions have to come with uh, the uh, adequate uh, adjustments to the economic reality of the regions where we live in, because obviously the levels of development between Europe, United States, and developed countries and our region are huge, and uh, we just want to make sure that we make the right decisions for the reason that we're doing all this, which is our people, and to improve the well-being of them.